every spring for the past like four years, we've been putting out a group text. When are we getting together, boys? You know, we've been traveling the world together for the last 15 years. And now to get together on our Yeti Snow MXs and shred the backcountry is all time. We live a pretty stressful life, you know, doing the bike thing. You don't get to hang out with each other as much. Instead of always traveling throughout the winter constantly, we're just starting to enjoy what we have here in BC. Yeah, we're up here in Braylorn. A lot of people probably don't know where that is, and maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> it's been like four or five years in the making trying to get this crew together, so I think we're going to head into Lone Goat today. It's finally happening. <laughs> Time Still. to do a lot of this. Bye! All four of us found some time in the schedule. Snow's looking pretty good. It's gonna be sick. In most respects, we're all pretty new at this just because it's a fairly new sport. Every day you're learning something different and realizing what it can do, where it can climb, what it can descend. My mind is just shattered on where you can go, especially when the snow conditions are right. I can compare a lot of it to riding, you know, places like Utah, more free ride, kind of rampage style stuff. It's pretty crazy what you can do on these things. When you're going out riding with the Aggie, Claw, and Dorfling, things can get rowdy. One, two, three. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks nice right here. Dude, it's gonna be good, man. I think being out in the mountains is my favorite part of it. As mountain bikers, we're always exploring new terrain and freedom that the snow bike gives you out here in this mountain environment. It's unbelievable. Best feeling on a snow bike is by far shredding, untouched pow, utter weightlessness, carving through the snow like you're on a pair of skis or snowboard. It's how you kind of dream of riding a bike. Good first day, hit some jumps. I haven't really built any breeders for these things before. Pretty rad just having four guys chasing each other through the trees and pretty excited for a couple more days of this. For me, I fell in love with this place around like 2001 when I first came here. You know, it's super laid back, chill atmosphere, end of the road type vibe to it with BC's best backcountry terrain right out of the doorstep. Yeah, well, I'm just waiting on these guys. I'm loaded, ready to go. Bikes running amazing. <laughs> Might as well have another coffee. <laughs> make, make sure you get a shot of his duct tape on the board. <laughs> Day two, we're gonna go off to another zone, just uh, northeast of town. Throwing in a couple stitches. <laughs> Bit of a face plant yesterday, ending up in a broken visor, and hopefully we'll find some nice soft snow today. Pretty cool scene to be in at the beginning of something. There is no expectations, there's no pressure to perform. Do we want to take, see this shoot right here? The snow bikes is kind of like a perfect mix between mountain biking and snowmobiling. It's great just to keep up your uh, reaction time and your instincts. And... and it just crosses over into mountain biking so much, just the, the movements and how it reacts. Like it feels like a mountain bike almost. 
one thing is just like, you know, kind of scaring yourself every day. When you're sitting on the top of a 50 foot drop on a snow bike, you know, it's the same thing as sitting on top of a 30 foot drop on a mountain bike. You're still flexing that muscle to let go and push through your fears. I think mountain bikers can look at terrain a lot differently too. Like we see lips where maybe other people don't see lips. It's definitely open my mind when you know we come to areas like this and the terrain is just asking for it. Chasing each other through the trees, it's just you can go anywhere you want. You can carve like you're on rails, you can get into way tighter spots, you can ride way steeper faces, and you just have a lot more control than on a sled. Uh, that's the cool thing with snow is like you're not really just like stuck to a trail. It's anywhere you look, you just point and shoot and go. It, it's just the ultimate exploration tool. First time I ever saw a snow bike, I was sold right away. I rode it for maybe two hours. I think the next week I was ordering one. The bike, you're instantly comfortable with it. You know exactly what it can and can't do right away. There's no real learning curve with just getting out there and just going for a rip with your friends out in the backcountry. There is no limit to where you can really go. It's just your imagination. It's insane how these Yetis descend. It's so similar to riding a mountain bike down open terrain. It's super rad for us. There's nothing like shredding lines with your buddies on the Yetis. 